what is up Pisces welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so go ahead take what resonates leave the rest check out your sun moon rising venus and jupiter placement on my channel if you want a personal reading or reiki session you can book it through my website down below in the description box as i lose my voice i do have a promo code going on for the month of may uh it's posted on my website so go ahead check that out it's for all the services i offer and if you want a free reading go ahead and check out patreon because all tier three and four patrons that sign up in the month of may will also get a free 15 minute reading with me if that's a recorded reading so go ahead check that out that's where i do the monthly readings energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon only videos i take those monthly readings and i post them on vimeo so if you'd like to purchase your individual monthly you can do so on that platform other than that like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up helps the channel grow and let's get into it. Hopefully I won't lose my voice again because, you know, it's going to take a little sip of water. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's use Gilded Terra Royale. Dang it, I still got to update that description box. I forgot to put this tarot deck down there. I just got this one. I most need to see for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and the landscaper is just out here. Sorry, guys, if you hear that. Show me what I most need to see for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Those are catastrophic, but it feels like like liberating, not like a bad catastrophic. Like I don't know why it kind of feels like like a party kind of. I don't know, it's a weird way to describe that word. <laughs> but it kind of feels that way. Okay. Let me scoot back. So, oh, that's much better. Okay. Show me what I'm most need to see for Pisces. Ten of Swords! Catastrophic. Okay, but you're heading into a new cycle. I'm not taking all this. Then we have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Cups. I don't know why I feel this so heavy in my heart space for some reason. Oh, between the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords is the Three of Swords energy. Um, that is heartbreak. Some of you might be already... I feel like you're already going through this. Oh, there's a card underneath here. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you might have been lied to or betrayed. Okay, by this night. It's something around this night. Um, then we have the Page of Cups. This is honest communication. This is also very flirty communication. It's also vulnerability. Ten of Swords, there was an ending. This feels already done. This feels done. Whatever. It kind of feels like you're mourning a loss. But with the Page of Cups, I kind of feel like you're coming out on the better end of it. Like if, if you're going through a breakup or if you i don't typically focus on love we just have a lot of like venusian energy going on i feel like that's why i'm getting a lot of love readings lately um with the nine of swords uh gemini energy and then the six of swords aquarius energy and the knight of swords more gemini energy there is a lot of air energy out right now and it's almost as if this connection has lived so much in the headspace that the pain hasn't been truly processed even though the cycle is done with the ten of swords energy i feel that's already completed there's just a need to truly mourn the loss and with the knight of swords you might be running away from really processing emotions but i also feel like this is somebody who wasn't really honest about the ending page of cups i feel like is the overcoming like really understanding how you feel and the closing out of the trauma or the betrayal right bottom of the deck three of wands in reverse yeah so the opportunity is here. The opportunity to move on is here. It's just we need to work through the headspace and the trauma still and really figure out how we're truly feeling so we can accept the opportunity. Yeah, underneath that is the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. So yeah, to move forward on your path. Because the Knight of Pentacles is taking action to build something new, but it's also taking slow, methodical, thought through action, right? Very nice. I like that. I'm actually happy that you have a Ten of Swords, though, because that means that you're closing out a cycle of something that just was not meant for you. Um, let's do Rider Waite. Okay. Let's look at the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? 
Well, I have a ton of swords here for Pisces. Show me what I mostly see. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups. Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups is upright, the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups is in reverse. So somebody wasn't being honest about how they felt, right? This isn't also somebody who's kind of like a player energy. They could be very deceptive or having false promises about what they're offering to you, right? And with the Four of Cups there, it's almost like, hey, I'm offering you exactly what you want, but it turns out that it wasn't the reality of the situation and they ended up walking away with the eight of cups right this really feels like a breakup it feels like a breakup that's already done this this feels like it's already done i, I can't stop saying that it feels like it's already done it's, just, it's been done let's look at the nine of swords no let's look at the knight i want to see the knight first because i feel like the knight is the one who's kind of playing mind games here I feel like you're on the receiving end of this. I don't think you are the knight. I feel like you're on the receiving end of this knight energy. This person wasn't very honest about what they felt, about what they wanted. I feel like they were playing a lot of head and heart games. I don't think that that was their true intention. I don't think they really know what they wanted. Yeah. King of Cups in reverse. The truth of the situation is they were not emotionally stable. They were not ready. They were not receptive to love and they didn't know how to communicate that, but that's the truth. And they were struggling to accept their own authentic truth and in turn projected that onto you. Right. And we have a, we have a habit of doing that right as humans. What my trauma is I might project onto somebody else if I haven't integrated my shadow properly. So the example I use I actually use this in a cancer reading. I'm a perfectionist. I hold myself to a really high caliber. So it wouldn't be fair to me to hold my partner to that caliber just because I hold myself to that caliber because I have to accept them and all their humanness. But I can't be like, well, you're not perfect. You're not this, that, that, you know, just because I, I do that for myself doesn't mean that I can do that for them. That's my own ish. I got to work through. You get what I'm saying? And it's kind of like this person's doing that just because they can't be honest about how they feel with themselves. They're not honest with the people around them about how they feel either. And that creates a lot of distortion, but that's the reality of it. That's the truth. Okay. So let's look at the nine of swords. This knight actually might be taking over your reading. Let's look at the nine of swords. Cause as soon as I got to the nine of swords, I kind of felt this knight again in the masculine energy. This might be why they're not processing emotion properly or you, right? Cause energy could be you or it could be people in your environment. Let's look at the nine of swords. Their intuition knows the real reason. There's an owl in the background of this card, which speaks of divine feminine energy, but also the hidden, right? What we do not see. Page of pentacles in reverse, page of wands, wheel of fortune in reverse, and the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Two cyclic energies with the wheel of fortune and the 10 of pentacles. The page of pentacles is someone who's reflecting on previous cycles or foundations that have fallen apart. This person has a wounded child energy with the page of wands there they're reflecting on their history of how things haven't worked out in their favor right and that's why they have a lot of trauma a lot of stress a lot of anxiety about opening up emotionally and being very vulnerable with individuals uh in their environment it doesn't have to be romantic it could just be in general like family friends even co-workers uh i actually just heard admitting they're wrong so it, it could be something really simple like let's say it is in the workplace like admitting that if they're in sales they didn't pitch it properly right so if, if you've ever done sales you know that typically a lot of places like have a script or an outline if you if you are lucky enough to be at a place that like lets you have the freedom to say what you want to say like i worked at a company that let me say whatever the hell i wanted which is awesome but there are still kind of guidelines of making sure that you create urgency and things of that nature like let's say this person forgot to do a step and that's why they lost the sale they're going to beat themselves up and beat themselves up and beat themselves up i'm not good enough i'm not worthy of a ton of pentacles i'm not worthy of love i'm not worthy of success and they kind of create a lot of stress in their own life but that was part of their own wounded child and that limiting belief that negative self-talk might have been put there by an authority figure a parent a boss a mentor a teacher a coach something of that nature and anytime they fall into that stress and anxiety they kind of reflect on all those foundations everything that's not worked out right how often when things go wrong do we replay like well, great. Now this went wrong and that went wrong the other day and that went wrong the other week. Remember when X, Y, we start replaying everything that went downhill and we dig ourselves a deeper hole. And what's that do? It stops us from moving forward. Six of swords in reverse. 
that's kind of what this person is doing. They're basically, um, I might trigger a lot of people by saying this, but that's choosing to sit in a low vibrational energy, right? It's choosing, you control your thoughts. You drive that ship, but that's letting the ego drive. The ego is where our fears, anxieties, and limiting beliefs are rooted. And the ego is what protects us from feeling that trauma again. And so the ego is getting triggered because this person's like, well, I, I don't want to feel like a failure again. And I feel like I'm, I'm getting close to that energy. So I'm just not going to move forward right now. I'm not going to be vulnerable right now. Because what if I feel that feeling again? I don't want to feel that. So I'd rather not pursue it just in case it were to happen. But what if it doesn't happen at all? Six of Swords, clarify about Seven of Cups, the clarity. Because remember, between the Nine and the Six is the Three of Swords. Yep, <laughs> Ten of Cups and the Seven of Wands. They're understanding that if they do want to move forward, they're going to have to start fighting for their own happiness. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is also a high frequency card for me. They have to stop feeling in a Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a scarcity mindset, a limiting belief mindset, and step into an attitude of gratitude, a higher frequency, an attitude of attraction, something that I am confident, I am abundant, I'm the freaking bomb.com. The universe is always manifesting things on my behalf. If this is not meant for me, something better is already on the way. It's not that you hurt me, it's that the universe is already bringing me somebody brand spanking new. That's going to be an upgrade and somebody brand spanking new for you is on your way and that's fine. Good luck with them and good luck for me too, right? It's having that shift in perspective that I got a ton of cups on the way. Kudos to me. I'm basically upgrading my iPhone right now. That's what's happening. It's going to run faster. It's going to have better reception. It's going to take better pictures. The camera going to be better. And if you're into Androids, then you got the next best Android. Okay? You're upgrading your phone. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. Right? Brand new cycles. But it's you're attracting new cycles because you're shifting your frequency. You're shifting your perspective. When you actively choose to say... My ego's name is Shannon. So I'm like, yo, Shannon, I am worthy of success. Stop telling me I'm a failure because I'm not a failure. Go sit in the corner. I don't got time to listen to you tell me those things that are not true because that's just false evidence appearing real. It's fear. I'm abundant. I'm successful. I'm not a failure. I accomplish anything I set my mind to. End of story. Point blank. With ease. Right? Done. And that's shifting your frequency, right? That's not allowing your ego to control your thoughts. Let's look at this page of cups. High Priestess, Queen of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords. Okay, so now we have the Queen to the King of Cups with the Ten of Swords in between. So we have a true pair, right? So here's the trauma between a masculine and a feminine energy that created a very painful ending with the Ten of Swords there. So there's the breakup, right? But this is what was necessary in order to trigger that pain to the surface to show you how to embody that Ten of Cups energy, right? To see from a new perspective that, oh, I do need to open up. I do need to be vulnerable. Because by sitting and expecting a Ten of Swords, I'm gonna continue to attract partners that are emotionally shut down because all they are doing is going to mirror back to me what I am, right? Because I am projecting my trauma onto them. So they're gonna project it back onto me. We're just gonna play ping pong all damn day. Bum, bum, bum. It's a mirror. That's it. It's a mirror. It is a mirror. And so if you feel like you're repeating cycles or the same thing is happening over and over and over, it's because it is time for you to learn the lesson and create a shift. Step out of your comfort zone, do something different so that cycle is changed. So that cycle is now ended. Because the high priestess is also seeing beyond the veil, right? It's seeing things from a higher perspective. It's also the unknown. So let's look at the Three of Wands in reverse and your overall. The star, what is destined for you? Ace of freaking Wands, the Soul's Path, the freaking Sun, Happiness, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Releasing all the self-sabotaging behavior. Bottom of the deck is judgment, aligning with your soul's freaking path. You literally just got the Kapowie. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. It's a kapowie. That is the party. You just literally got yourself a party bus and are on the way to everything you want and more. Why? Because you just chose. You chose to perceive your reality differently. I know I make it sound really simple and I know it's not going to be 
super simple for some people depending on your circumstances i know my circumstance wasn't easy and if you've been with my channel for a long time you know what my awakening was like <laughs> yeah okay it's not a normal awakening um so i wish you all the best if you're going through one that's a real doozy i feel you i feel you coming from someone who was blind deaf and paralyzed i feel you <laughs> okay um but look you shift your perspective and look you got a working body you can see and hear again and you're like huh nobody knows why but here we are kapowie right because you release limiting self-sabotaging beliefs and habits like I'm a failure. Nothing's ever going to work out for me. Perpetuating that wasn't really helping my situation, but having faith and speaking positivity into it did wonders on my physical, mental, and emotional and spiritual body. And look at me now. Here we are. Two and a half, almost three years later. Right? Amazing. Because that's what's going to align you with your soul's path. Because now you're gonna, going to be able to attract what is actually meant for you. Right? Because you're not going to be projecting out negativity that's going to neutralize your manifestations so this is what i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you want a personal reading or a reiki session i'm a master reiki practitioner you can go ahead and book your session down below through my website in the description box i do have a discount code to the end of may so go ahead take a look at that a little peekaboo at that use it if you'd like it's for you it's just for you uh, if you want a free 15 minute reading check out patreon there's a few tiers on there that get free 15 minute readings that sign up in the month of may and check out vimeo as well like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up helps the channel grow hit that notification bell and i'll see you next time bye bye